Hi, Sag. How are you? I'm excited to be back. Hello. If you want an update on um, why I have comments off, when I'm doing personal readings, what's going on with me, I did a just like a life update video so that I didn't have to do like long announcements. So if you want to check that out, that is in my uh, description. Ace of Cups, new love. Um, yes, I'm going to have my comments off for a little while. I explain why in that video if you want to watch it. If you want to leave me a tip, thank you so much. I appreciate tips very, very much. They keep me alive. <laughs> Help me afford things, you know, like food and stuff. That is in the bottom of my description. If you're interested, if you are interested, not necessary, obviously. These are free readings. Okay, we're just gonna get into it. Again, if you have questions, go watch that video. I probably have an answer for you. All right, what does Sagittarius need to know? The world, the first card out, Saturn. <laughs> are you getting your ass whipped by Saturn? Ten of pentacles after that. Well, for good reason. Queen of Pentacles, death card. Okay, so somebody's getting their ass kicked by Saturn, but after that you get uh, money. <laughs> There's a transformation going on here. Somebody is going through a transformative experience that will bring them wealth. Page of Cups, somebody's wanting to communicate feelings possibly, but you've been in hermit mode. You've been single for a while. You've been healing, self-reflecting, Virgo energy. But there will be a decision, judgment. There's a new beginning here. Something new is coming into your life. It will be passionate. It will be spiritual. Strength card. But it requires you to resist this chaotic energy. There is a new turn in fate coming with Jupiter here. Expansion coming into your life. But there is some karmic chaos that you need to resist. So the strength card, somebody might have Leo in their chart dealing with a Leo. Virgo. Capricorn, Scorpio. So yeah, the world card, an ending of a cycle, completion. There's a karmic cycle that's coming to a close. With Ten of Pentacles, this might have to do with family, generational, but you have abundance coming to you. I mean, Ten of Pentacles is money, is, you know, generational wealth. But again, there might have been somebody might be healing from like, Generational poverty, some wounds within your family, releasing them so you can be free. The transformation taking place here. You know, the Capricorn, with this Capricorn heavy, Capricorn um, full moon is a completion of cycles. Capricorn is the 10th house, it's like social status, career. Somebody might be changing their career. But it's like what you've tried to manifest here. Somebody was trying to manifest money for a while and it wasn't coming towards you. Somebody might have been trying to manifest a baby too. With you know, she's pregnant here. The queen of um, pentacles is a wife, a mother. Somebody... Um, might have been struggling financially because of like children. You know, like you want to be a good mother, you want to provide, but you know, being a parent is very expensive and you've been trying to find a better career possibly because you you just want to be, um, to be able to provide. But you know, that's also hard, especially um, as a mother, working long hours, working multiple jobs, you're not able to be there with your children as much. You know that with new opportunities, there comes new growing pains. Somebody's doing some soul searching about like relationships. I hope you guys are able to follow me. This is kind of weird energy. Like I almost have like a headache right now. Somebody is just like, I almost get for somebody like you're, um, you might be a single mother and you've been struggling financially. 
you've been taking a look at, um, you know, maybe taking a break from dating or, you know, separated from your uh, child's parent, your child's father, your baby daddy. It's like you've been trying to manifest money. You've been trying to manifest career moves and somebody might have like got pregnant. And now you're struggling a little bit. This is a this is gonna be specific for some people. This isn't gonna be for everybody. I'm I'm getting like an energy where somebody like is very driven in their career, but they feel pulled back and forth between wanting to be a mother, wanting a family, or you have children. You feel like you know you take time to be there for your children. You're not making as much money. You want to be you know, um, able to provide for your children, but then you're not there as much and you feel you know, pulled back and forth and you question yourself as a mother and you might, you know, the father of your children does not, is not around or does not provide. I'm sorry. I do feel like somebody has like a headache. They're very stressed out. Yeah. You are a very loving and nurturing person, but you feel like you've had to put up like a cold front and be cold towards other people. And that's just because there's been a lot of lying and deception in your life. You've been hurt a lot by, you know, people stuck in devil energy. For some, it's like you have children and the father of your children really just like cheats, lies, doesn't provide at all. And you've like decided to take a break from dating altogether and look at why do I keep attracting people like this that are basically like deadbeats. And with the Ten of Pentacles, like it, it might have been that this is like in your family, you know? Something has been burdening you here. And it feels like the, like trying to find a balance between being, I know this is very specific, being like a parent that is there emotionally and being able to provide financially. I feel like somebody is a single parent here. And it's like you want to take additional jobs, you want to get promoted so that you can, you know, provide financially. But again, that takes up your time to where you can't be there emotionally. And somebody struggles with that. And it might even be that somebody is very career driven, but like you got pregnant and you know, that, that hurt your career in a way. It's sad that like women have to go through this, you know, because men don't really, some men do, especially if you're a single parent, but you know, men typically do not have that weight on them to where if you are a successful woman and you work a lot and you're busy and you have children, you're just automatically a, a bad parent, you know? Yeah, there's a, a new beginning here that is presenting itself towards you. There is a cycle has closed in your life, but somebody is still guarded. You might have met somebody new and you feel guarded towards going towards that person because you have been very loving in the past and very giving in the past. And now you just want to hold back because that has led you to rejection. This is a very specific reading for somebody. This is the reading that needed to come out though. You know, the spirit is going to give the messages that somebody needs. So it's, I don't like when people comment. I have my comments turned off. I don't like when people comment and they're like, this doesn't resonate with me. It's like, <laughs> did anybody say that this is your personal tarot channel? Like, it's so rude when you do that. Or like, when people are like, well, you know, <laughs> couldn't be me. And it's like, could you go fuck yourself? You know, I hate when people are like that. It's like, this is a message from spirit for somebody and you're really gonna comment and be like, you know, I overrule what your spirit team has given out because I'm just so important that I can't possibly look at my birth chart and look at other placements that I have and go watch those readings. And if they don't resonate with me, go find another reader, you know? <laughs> this is what somebody needed to hear. Somebody has been, they might have been with a narcissist. I'm so sorry if you've had children with a narcissist, if you've been married to a narcissist. I can't imagine the hell that you've been through. The hell that you've been through here. 
you're moving into smoother waters and you're going to everything that you've given out all the love all the financial support all the emotional sports you've given out is going to come back towards you you've been delayed a lot these blessings have been delayed and you feel out you feel like you've been out in the cold You've been the third party a lot. People have put you, there is somebody here that has been cheated on. You might have been married and cheated on. You know, it's the person that you had children with cheated on you, put you in third party situations. That hurt your finances because, you know, you cut them off and now they're not wanting to like help financially. They're not helping, you know, they, they're not helping see the children. So you're happening to like bear all the weight here. You are manifesting love. Somebody is. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there is somebody has inner wounds here. I don't blame you. Around marriage. You might have been married and, you know, it, it was a abusive marriage. You lost a lot in that marriage. I don't blame you. That's devastating to go through, especially, you know, with children. Yeah. You have a new beginning coming towards you, and it's going to be somebody that is actually wanting to be with you here. Somebody that is going to be stable, be able to provide, be a good husband, a good father, you know, a good mother, good wife, whatever. Somebody was married or in a serious relationship before and they were cheated on quite a bit and this person threw other people in your face. And you have not dated for a while. Somebody is like has their eye on you though. You took a while to be single and focus on yourself. Yeah, what did I say? Nine of Pentacles, single, focus on yourself. And now you're in a position where you've really healed and you're ready to be in a serious relationship. But you know, you might be guarded here just because of what you've been through. But I'm getting that spirit is sending you somebody that is gonna take care of your heart. You don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Because you're an empress. And it's gonna surprise you. Somebody's gonna come in all of a sudden and they're gonna love the shit out of you. But you've been stuck in your head and not knowing how to move forward because you needed to transform. There were wounds within you that needed to be healed. And I get that it's you know within your family. You might have had like a father, grandfather that, you know, cheated all the time. You were kind of raised that like men are dogs, you know, take it how it resonates. That's this type of energy. I just feel very like, somebody just feels very defeated in love. Yeah. Block out this person. You do have somebody that is very promiscuous, wanting to come back towards you. They juggle you with other people, but the son, you have recognized that this person is like that, and you recognize that they're a burden, and that they've hurt you financially. The person that caused you to go into hermit mode to begin with, don't entertain that person because they're planning to come back. Spirit is sending you um, the star. Spirit is sending you, could be an Aquarius. Spirit is going to send you somebody that will be very healing for you. Somebody that sees your worth here. And with the tower, it's going to be like out of nowhere. It's really going to surprise you. But again, it's that situation where you're going to be tested before. You know, Saturn will test you. So this person that cheated on you, made you feel bad, hurt your finances even, that you had to go into hermit mode because of the damage this person did. And given, you know, coming up as the Queen of Cups, you allowed this person to do that because you were moving from a heart center. You were trying to show this person love and this person was trying to take advantage of you. You do have new love coming in, but I do get that this person that took advantage of you is going to come back towards you. And Spirit is saying, you know, block them off because you know now, you know better. You know that this person just brings burdens into your life. This person just hurts you financially. So don't fall for it again. 
you're going to be tested here to make sure that you really do want love and you're really ready for love and when you kind of prove to spirit that you are in a place where you recognize what real love is and you don't fall for manipulation that's when this is going to come in for you <sighs> yeah you went into hermit mode because you had somebody that was coming in and out of your life. They were, you know, coming in hot and heavy and leaving you. You didn't know what to do about this person. They were cheating. They were lying. They kept you waiting around. They tried to, you know, just wait for me. I, I'm working things out. Just wait. We're going to be together eventually. This person... <laughs> person might have even had like a secret family you know secretly committed to another person here they caused you a lot of anxiety and you feel stuck in your past here to where somebody else comes in towards you you're like I can do it on my own I don't need I don't need any of this you know I am good on my own I'm not going to give my heart to anybody else but there is somebody here that is watching you and sees that you're confident, sees that you're single, wanting to make a move towards you, but you do have um, an energy where you might cut them off here. You might cut them off, and if you come towards this person cold, they're gonna come back towards you cold, and it's, it's going to end in heartbreak. I hope you get what I'm saying. There is somebody else, Sag, cross watcher, there is somebody else that sees you and sees your worth and wants to come towards you. But before they come towards you, you have this karmic individual from your past, this person that hurt you, this player from your past is going to come back around, try to like, you know, <laughs> talk you out your panties again. You just have to remember what you've learned, you know? And when somebody new comes towards you, don't immediately you know, every man, every woman is not the same. Don't cut people off just because you're expecting them to be trash. Give people a chance because I get this new person coming in really could be, you know, someone that you could have something serious with. But I do get that there is an energy here where you do run the risk of cutting this person. And if you go cold on this person, they might go cold back on you. And um, it's going to end in a missed opportunity. So, person from your past, trash. Trash, trash. Don't get involved with the trash. Trash is coming back around because <laughs> trash sees that you're single and available too. Hold out for, you know, the right person. And when they come towards you, don't immediately make it to where they have to jump through 100 hoops to win you over. You know, give a new person a fair chance and be vigilant for red flags and, you know, even communicate those red flags that hey, the last person I was involved with, you know, snuck around, cheated, you know, always taking money from me. So I'm a little sensitive about these things. So, you know, I, I'm not trying to cut you off. I'm not trying to put up these unreasonable barriers for you to break through. But just so you know, if I'm weird about money, this is why, you know, and most people, especially someone that cares about you and is interested in, in you is going to hear that and think, how can I make this person comfortable? You know, don't bog them down, but I hope you get what I'm saying. You know, if I'm with somebody new and they tell me, hey, my ex was a little bit abusive and they did this and they did that and I'm really interested in that person. Well, you know, just being a human, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You know, I now know that you are sensitive about these things. So I'm going to make sure that we work through this. Most people are going to be like that. Now, if you're just like, I hate men, men are trash, I don't want to date, get away from me, you know, that person's probably going to be like, well, okay. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I hope that helps, Saj. I love you guys a lot. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye.